Who's Been Talking? Howlin' Wolf, Chester Burnett. A great old blues tune. Um, minor key, rumba. In this case, we're in C minor. And the rumba feel um, is uh, kind of a little bit different. A cool thing to do to change the pace. I'm Red, and I'm here today to help you take a look at who's been talking. Now I'm going to do some, uh, I'm going to roll the track, I'm going to do a little bit of rhythm over it, demonstrate a few different moves, and then I'll do some lead, and uh, turn you on to a couple of cool licks, and some uh, soloing ideas, you know, I mean, I think the idea is, is to... Uh, be creative and uh, make the song your own. So here we go. Start with the rhythm. C minor, all minor chords, one, four, five. And of course this lick. Let me start that again and get you that lick on time. Three, four, five. The lick is does it for the for the four as well as the five. Now, anytime I'm using a minor, okay, I might use double stops. Just following the major scale. Lead into the one. See that? And then these hammer pulls. Those are very cool too. Okay, so let me stop the track and show you a couple of the things I just did. Basically, we're in C minor. There, that's a better view for you. We're in C minor. I'm playing a C minor seven, and then I'm using these neighboring chord double stops, um, following the major scale. See how they match up to the C minor. Then for the F, I just go up here, play F minor, two notes out of the F minor. I'm on the second and third string. Now I'm leading back into the one. That's what I was saying before. So that is some cool stuff you can do. Or you can just strum these chords and play that lick, or you can just strum the chords. Gives you some different options if there's different players you're working with. Um, you know, each of you can take a different option. Um, for the four, I used an F minor seven. You could certainly use other forms of an F minor chord. And then for the five, I used a G minor seven. And you also notice that I did the hammer pulls, a very cool move. I'm going to do that slow for you and get you a better view. See where I'm doing that? I'm then I move down a half step. They're all chord tones or scale tones, one or the other. And you can do those over the four and over the five. Now, for some lead stuff. C minor pentatonic. Bends. Tremolos. Some passing tones.
Now that was just in minor pentatonic, basically, with some passing tones. But let's use an arp. Perhaps some double stops. show you that little. I'm starting on a G. I'm playing a G minor arpeggio. See how it goes right back into the C minor pentatonic. So that gives you some ideas of things that you can do. Um, that arp specifically one more time slow starting on the G on the A string back into the minor pentatonic so I hope that helps you to spice up your version of who's been talking and I will see you again soon with another lesson